welcome back to a new video so this will probably be my last video of 2022 and it will be a little i don't know how to call this um i want to reorganize some of my collections probably auch um downsizing as well so yeah and also i think i want to talk a little bit about my collection goals for 2023 <laughs> um, I don't think there will be a lot but I think I'm gonna talk about the most important things for myself so as you can see I do have three new um, A5 binders here um, this one I don't think it's real to be honest um, but I think it's still cute so I want to put my extra Stray Kids photo cards in this one and I want to have these like these colorful planner binders um, kind of for like my I don't know how to call this so I think I will explain it when we get to these binders so i think for now because um i want to move my stray kids photo cards in this one and use this one for another collection so i think we will do that first <laughs> um, because it's just transferring these cards into this one i'm sorry for my laptop being in the way by the way i hope it doesn't bother anyone <laughs> okay so we have this oh it, it also comes with some pages that's really nice of them i didn't know about that okay great i mean i do have enough of these um i am waiting on my um japanese sized um sleeves for my cards um so i'm not really sure how many cards i will be able to put away today um but yeah let's start with stray kids um i did start with like these mini <laughs> dividers for every member they please don't look at the back i mean they do look i really like this <laughs> so um yeah so i i started but i don't i haven't finished it yet so so let's just take all of these out we will come back to this one later and just move all of this into here i think i think it's a little bit bigger bigger as well which is good for this collection <laughs> so yeah that's that i'm not really sure if i'm gonna keep this string on it or this one this is really cute though so yeah that's it for stray kids um so i do have these three um like these A5 primers. I actually really like them. So that's why I purchased some more, just in different colors. So, so I think I will start with the collection I won't downsize, but I want to put in an A5 binder. So I basically <laughs> I want to put my Chang'a collection into an A5 binder. Um, I did try it off camera to see if I even like it and um, I actually do. I mean she hasn't like the biggest collection out of all of my collections so I want to take her out of this big binder and then I want to put Idol back in here with my Dreamcatcher collection since they are my top two girl groups. 
Um, so yeah, again, I'm not really sure if I have enough sleeves to resleeve all of these because my um, standard sized dragon shield sleeves, dragon shield <laughs> sleeves um, won't fit into these pockets. So I do have these from Dragon Shield, but I actually ordered more of the Ultra Pro small sleeves because these are way cheaper <laughs> and um, I I only like double sleeve my Felix non-album things with these. So I guess we can take all of these out first and then see. So <clears throat> yeah, I just kind of want to get rid of one of my big A4 binders. And um, I have been thinking about that. Um, I'm talking about this one, by the way, where I, I have like my girl groups in right now. But um, I have been thinking about these girl groups and um, I made some decisions. So that's why all of them will go into these small um, A5 binders. But once again, I will talk about that more when we will reorganize these groups as well. So for now, let me just shut up <laughs> and take all of these Changa cards out. I took all of my album cards out. I think um, these I will leave in here for now, just until my uh, sleeves arrive. Um, because I'm pretty sure <laughs> I won't have enough um, for all of my cards that I'm planning to reorganize into the small binders. So the thing is, I do have three of these right now and I do have, let me think, I have Changa. I have potentially Changa and three girl groups I want to put in these. Um, for one of these groups I don't even have cards so <laughs> that won't be a problem. Um, so let me think. I think for Changa I will be using this one. And I think this will be for Changa alone. So I won't um, put anyone else in here. So I do have all of these cards. I'm not really sure how many pages I will need, so I will just open these and put them in. Let's start with these. <laughs> okay. Um, I think I will do this in a time lapse because I think that would be very boring otherwise. <laughs> so yeah. Again, uh, next time you will see this collection, Chang'a won't be in these sleeves. Um, I will reorganize them into the Ultra Pro ones once they arrive. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs>
Okay, so I just have a few left of these, but it's fine. Once again, I hope they will arrive tomorrow. So I did resleeve re all of Chang'a's cards. Um, I have to resleeve these and I hope my other white sleeves will fit in these pockets. So I will leave these to the side. Um, I also think I will put these at the back. I think they will look better um, not being with the album photo card. So for now I will leave them to the side. And yeah, I have all of Chang'a's cards here. So let me actually see. So these are all hands on me. And I have two broadcast photo cards. Once again, I'm not really sure if these um, are real or not. Um, so I will put one with the album photo cards. And yeah, I actually really liked having Chang'a in a smaller binder. Since I'm only collecting her album photo cards um, now, I think it works fine. Okay, then um, okay, how do I want to set this up? So I have one more hands on me. Oh yeah, I remember. <laughs> so I think. We will do it like this. And I don't really mind um, not having like the same error on one page and have like this one hands on me page with like offset cards. It doesn't really bother me anymore. Um, so I thought, okay, let me just Go on with this because I have thought about this for quite some time now just because I wanted I wanted to do some rearranging with my collections you know <laughs> so we have these offset cards which is again fine with like having this one selfie with these it's it's okay I can work with it. <laughs> so, okay. And then we have Blooming Blue and this one got a go card. So here you can see um, why I left this. This belongs to this card, but I think it works better like this. So like we have two concept cards and we have two selfies, which is I really preferred that <laughs> instead of having one blooming blue card on new page because we have next we have four um, flourishing cards so I think that would have bothered me more if I'm being honest I really do not like how some of these old Chang'a cards barely fit in the in the smaller sleeve like they barely fit as you can see i think they yeah they stick like a tiny bit out of it even but what can i do <laughs> and i think for the next three eras it works out perfectly with the amount of cards that she has okay let me see Like, that looks really, really cute. Like, I love that. And that as well. Like, it's it, really, it looks really cute in an A5 binder, not gonna lie. <laughs> so, okay, next we have the four play cards. Um, I think... Yep. 
let's do the two hard ones at the top so like this maybe like you see these cards are smaller like they fit perfectly in this um i think everything before play was like a weird size to be honest but it's fine okay i think i need a few more pages so we have Kerencia. and i think i wanted to um, not do these in sets like black and white but i wanted to match the outfits um so i think we will do these together and then these two so this one and this one and let's do um crisscross on the back as well so because i think i really like that Oh, well, it didn't work. <laughs> I wanted it like this. Okay, got it. <laughs> I was really confused for a second. Okay, um, we started with white. So let's do black here. Yeah, like that. I think that's... That's really cute. Okay, great. Okay, so we move on to Killing Me, which has, unfortunately, <laughs> uh, five photo cards. But I think it works since she has like almost the same hair as in um, Bear and Rare. So um, let me see. Okay. Wait. So we have like the two more far away ones like this and the two close-up selfies like this. Cute. Okay, then we have the last Killing Me card. Let's do it like this. Oh, I think we need two more pages. Okay, these bags won't really be satisfying to look at, but um, I do care more about the front, so I think it look, we will be fine. <laughs> okay, so we... And honestly, for now, I will just do these back to back, like this, put this one on the back. So I hope these fit. Yeah. And I just, okay, let me do, just for right now. Um, so yeah, that's my Changa binder and I do have a little bit of room as well. So let's do a quick flip through. Yeah, I really like that. I think I even prefer that than having her in a big binder. That's really cute. Okay, so that's my Changa binder. I hope I will be able to make like um, a cover page for her. Um, right now I don't have any extra albums for her. Okay, so 
I think what we can do next is take my old spinder, remove all of these. I will keep these for now in here. Once I get my sleeves, I will um, put them in this binder as well. Um, so for now, I will take these out and then let's take my Soyan collection and put it back in this binder. The only reason why I took her out of my um, big old spinder was because of space <laughs> reasons. So, um, do I want to put her in the front? I think so, because Dreamcatcher has um, more cards than Idol. So, we have Idol and Dreamcatcher back in one binder. We have I think that works. Space wise, let's go back to this one. Um, because in here we have Itsy now, and we do have new jeans in here as well. Oh, I didn't thought about my theme pages. I will think about that. <laughs> Um, and I also kind of wanted to collect Le Seraphim, but um, I did make some changes. So originally I planned on downsizing Itzy as well. So I do want to put all of these groups in A5 binders, right? And for new jeans and Le Seraphim, I'm 99% sure I don't want to collect them fully um, and more like selective. Um, not as extreme as my casual collections binder or my casual collections in general where I'm only um, collecting one card per era. Um, for at least for uh, Le Seraphim I kind of want to collect like four cards per era so it would look nice in this A5 binder. Um, for new jeans I'm uncertain at the moment. Um, I think for now I want to collect four cards per release as well for them but that might change in the future and um, I will have honey as like a casual collection where I'm only keeping one card per release so that might change in the future and then <laughs> I also kind of wanted to downsize um, Lujin with like four cards per era and get rid of the rest. Um, the main point for that was <laughs> Cheshire and the ridiculous amount of cards they have for this release and I kind of don't want to do that anymore <laughs> to be honest like i'm kind of kind of overwhelmed and tired at the moment with like collecting so much stuff for certain groups like i'm okay with um collecting this many for like my ults um for like stray kids the boys and um daniel but Itzy is not an old group and um, I always only collected Rujin's album photo cards anyways and they have so many now and I, I don't want to do that. I haven't gotten any um, versions of the Cheshire album and I don't plan on getting all of them. Like I'm not going to do that. <laughs> um, so I was also trying out how I would feel with Rujin being downsized and in an A5, um, A5 binder. And I actually did like it. 
to have like only four cards per era but I'm not really sure if I would regret selling the rest <laughs> like Lujin has been in my collection um, ever since I started collecting and I never dropped her once and I was always pretty much up to date with her cards but this is like no <laughs> um so for now i will actually have to see if i have enough sleeves for her <laughs> um, because i only have a few of these i don't think that will be enough for her cards honestly so i will take these really old sleeves um, they are from ultra pro as well but they are like penny sleeves um, for now just for the sake of this video i will put her in these sleeves but once my ultra pro ones arrive i will resleeve them so for now i will just take all of her cards out and for now i think i will just put all of them back in the a5 binder but there is a chance that the next time you will see her in the A5 binder, she will be downsized um, for to like four cards per release. Um, I'm not sure if I will sell the rest or if I will keep them in like a separate binder just to see how I feel about it. But um, yeah. <laughs> And I think um, just as I did for Chana, I will separate the, the limited editions um, from the normal album photo cards, just because I think it looks better. Okay. Um, I will take these two pages out and um, only keep the fillers. Uh, I know for a fact I will only collect four cards for Cheshire. That's a fact. Like, I don't want to collect all 18 cards. <laughs> That's just... Okay, so I think I do need more pages. I will keep it for now. And I will resleeve these first <laughs> again it some of these sleeves are so disgusting like i think these were the very first sleeves i started to use for my photo card collection um i don't really use them anymore um i mainly use them to like um send trades or sales to like other people but um for my own collection i'm i'm not really using them anymore so once again, this will be very temporary, <laughs> like probably until tomorrow or like until my other sleeves arrive. So I'm, I'm thinking about getting rid of the units, to be honest, like I don't really care to have them, to be honest. I might keep one for It's Me to fill up the four pocket page. 
but other than that I might get rid of them so for it's icy I'm thinking okay I think I will do this one first and then have this one and then the two selfies here like this maybe and yeah I will think about it more if I want to downsize this collection but I think I have to do it on my own like I don't want to do drastic decisions in front of a camera and then regret it later on <laughs> um, so yeah but there might there might be some changes because I have been on a trading on and um, buying hiatus um, through December we have like a few days until Christmas um, and honestly it has it has been really great not to think about any k-pop related things like I did pre-order um, season's greetings um, but that's literally the only thing I bought k-pop related this month and honestly it feels really good not to spend like half of your paycheck for k-pop you know and um, I think that's like the main reason that made me think about my collection a little bit and wanting to downsize you know so um, I will leave the units out for now um, and same goes to the one pre-order benefit I have for not shy <laughs> So, because with these, it's like a perfect for pocket page. I mean, it doesn't really add up. Like, I have it, it's icy and then it's me on one page. But I don't really mind that that much anymore so that's that and then we have guess who so I think what I'm gonna do is leave these out and have them in the back and just have the regular album photo cards and for these Honestly, I might get rid of them. Like, this is a limited card for Guess Who? And having this makes me want to collect the other limiteds as well, you know? And I don't want to do that <laughs> anymore. So, sorry. I had to check with my mom for a second. <laughs> um, where was I? All right, guess who? So yeah, um, yeah. All of the things I will put in the bag for now, I might get rid of sooner or later. So yeah, <laughs> um, and just go for the regular album photo cards like don't get me wrong especially for cheshire now the limited and special edition cards look so cute especially the selfies i i don't know what i'm gonna do so yeah <laughs> okay so for crazy in love this goes at the back um, I think I want to split the concepts up and have it like this, maybe. Oh my gosh, I'm already filming for an hour. <laughs> 
I hope it won't be as long when once I edited everything. <laughs> oh yeah, right. While I'm sorting Rujin, I think I can like talk a little bit about my collection goals for next year. Um, I'm not really a big fan of setting myself big goals like finish a certain collection or anything because um, it will make me feel stressed even though I have like one year for it but um, I think some of you get what I mean <laughs> um, but the one thing I hope I can um, live up to is like don't collect any new groups <laughs> especially when it comes to rookie groups because um, I picked up so many rookies this year and um, I don't think I kept one single group <laughs> from them um, yeah especially with new groups like I might like the debut or the first comeback but most of the times um, my interest in the group itself and the music um, goes down a little bit. Um, that might be, or one of these reasons might be because um, I get invested in other groups, which I personally enjoy more. Um, so yeah, <laughs> um, I'm saying that while I want to collect the Seraphim and New Jeans, which both debuted only this year <laughs> but um yeah for new jeans as i said before there is a possibility i will have them as a casual collection only um as of next year i don't know i guess it depends on their comeback in january so um I just really fell in love with Le Seraphim and, uh, I, oh my gosh, I hope I'm pronouncing her name right, Kazuha. <laughs> um, I really, really like her, so that's why I really want to collect her, even though it's only selective. Um, I just don't want to collect all of her cards, because as a rookie group, Le Seraphim has like a lot of cards already, and... I kind of don't want to do that even though I really like them and their music so but that might change with their next comeback as well so that's why I set myself um, this goal not to collect any new groups like I want to give myself some more time to think about it like I I guess I have to like their debut and I think I will wait at least two or three comebacks to fully decide that I want to collect them. So that I have enough time to like dedicate myself and my time to that group, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I don't know if that applies to a lot of people, but like especially with new groups. So um yeah i just want to focus on my olds if that makes sense i think that's every collector says that as well <laughs> um yeah i just want to i just want to keep up with especially my stray kids collection where i'm collecting top three now like um of course i want to have a little bit more progress with my top three collection um, especially Hyunjin <laughs> and um, Chan as well. I think I can make it work um, to finish Chan in the next few months at least. Um, I don't know how that will go for Hyunjin, but um, I want to try my best. <laughs> and um, yeah, the only goal I want to set myself is like... Um, keeping up to date with all of my current collections like um twice and dreamcatcher you know <laughs> and um yeah that's it basically i also want to tell 
my future self not to stress about any collections like if you take a little bit longer than other people do with a certain collection it's totally fine you can do it at your own pace and time and don't feel encouraged <laughs> um, that it takes takes you longer than others but um yeah everyone's collection is different everyone has um, their own priorities so it's totally fine <laughs> okay so how on how i want to do this is the question because i do have these which match so do i want to do this even though this is a pop <laughs> um i don't know if i like that or not i think no um what is this pack a black one okay hmm but i do like these two together and i do like these two together as well hmm you see if I would downsize to just four cards per error, I wouldn't have this problem right now. Um, so, I hate that, but I'm gonna put this one in here for right now. I think I want to keep this just because it's really cute. Like, I prefer this one over this stupid thing. <laughs> so, it's okay. Honestly, I might go with like downsizing Rujin to, to just four cards per era. Do I want to do this? No. Let's do it the same way as for Chang'e. and do it like this so the bags do that <laughs> um okay i think this page is not enough so let me just grab a few more okay Ew. <laughs> let's put this to the side maybe these will be enough these are old ones by the way and it shows <laughs> Okay, so for right now, I will put these in. I might get rid of all of them. Who knows how I will decide. <laughs> so these are the units. And then I just have these um i don't know extra cards pop i don't even know <laughs> um i guess for now i will put this stupid thing on the back because i'm pretty sure i will get rid of this one like i don't like clear cards to begin with and this was the limited card for Checkmate. Like, are you serious? <laughs> it's fine. So, that's it for Luchin. I will do a flip through, but yeah. I don't know if it will stay like that or if I can bring myself to downsize it or not. Um, we will see about that. But um, I think I will keep Luchin on her own. For now as well um so oh right i forgot about cheshire <laughs> so let's take this extra page and put it here so for now i will just um, use my fillers for the normal album photo cards I guess it depends on um, what I can find for decent prices 
for, from her cards. So, for now, okay, so that's it for Ruchin. And the last thing for today, because I'm tired as shit, <laughs> we will do this binder for, oh my gosh. Um, new jeans and the seraphim. Um, okay, I need pages. Okay. I just grabbed the hand a little bit. Pretty sure that's enough. Okay, so I think I will just put in Kazuha's fillers for now because once again I don't have any of her cards at the moment so for fearless I'm not really sure yet if I just want to get her two selfie photo cards and maybe um, another member or get her two selfie cards and the two like these concept cards um, I wasn't really sure about that um, I guess it depends again which cards I can easily find for her, preferably on Makari Japan, <laughs> because that's what I'm doing nowadays <laughs> for most of my collections. So that's just two pages for the Seraphim. And then let's take a look um, for Hani. Um, so the thing is, I don't, re I don't have her cards complete at the moment. I should have the rest of the cards coming from my friend, um, but she's still waiting on this very messy group order. <laughs> So I'm not really sure when I will be getting them. So for now, I think I would just take, um, yeah, I will be taking out all of them. For now, I will put all of them in the A5 binder. And um, if, and once I have all of her cards, um, I will decide which ones I want to keep. Because for new jeans, I'm pretty sure I don't want to collect all of their cards for their comeback. <laughs> like, um, I think they have as many cards as for their debut as well. So, for a rookie group um, where I'm not even sure that I want to collect, collect them fully, I don't want to do that. <laughs> Do you want to see something really funny? This big ass stack of like standard Dragon Shield sleeves. Like I just um, purchased another pack, a new pack, and I have all of these now. <laughs> I don't mind like, okay, how do I want to set these up? Like I think I want these two here. Because these are probably two that I would keep, honestly. Like, especially this one with the head. It's super cute. I think that would be that would be a really hard decision which cards to keep because I really like all of her cards. She's so cute. Okay, so that's it for my little um, rookies mini binder, I guess. Not really a lot to look at, but she's so cute. <laughs> okay, so I think we did it. 
yeah, all. I have all of these and I really like Chang'a and Itzy in these binders, to be honest. Like, especially Chang'a looks really cute. So, yeah. Um, I really reorganize a little bit on my own, like, like we sleeving all of the cards, you know. Um, that will be fun. <laughs> but yeah, that's it for this video. And I hope you enjoyed it. Next time you will see these binders, these cards will be, be in there as well. So, yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I think that was like a cute um, video for the end of 2022. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this as well. I hope it won't be too boring once I edited everything. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye bye.